This is the morning of the 27th of April. Um, you'll see one of my apple trees in blossom there. Um, and my my tayberry is is now um, in in flower. Um, so hopefully I'll get some berries later. Now what I want to show you now is this new trellis that I've um, made. Um, this um, is um, made from branches of um, a couple of ash trees that are at the bottom of my parents garden which I pruned off last year and I was looking at a pile of them a, a, few, a, a little while ago and I was thinking well they might make a good trellis if you take all of these branches and tie them together with string so I did it um, I don't know how long it will last but I think with first sort of really strong wind might um, do for it but um, I, um, I looked up a looked up some knots and um, online and sort of just sort of tied it together as best I could and then tied it to the hanging basket to supports at the top just to, to keep it in place um, now you'll notice that these two hanging baskets aren't, aren't really looking all that good apart from the California poppies um, they're actually in flower already in April as, as they would be in their native home um, the often grown as an annual um, in in the UK, but um, I'm having them over winter, um, no problem, really. Um, the fuchsias, however, are, are not really looking very well. They're, they're, they haven't really um, produced leaves again. Um, their first crop of leaves early in the spring got nipped by a frost and, and they seem to have given up um, but we'll see whether, whether 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 they come back and if not when I get the chance to find some new plants that I think might be suitable and um, I'll, I'll get them um, over here the, the broad beans and um, the rest of my trellises um, which were the normal sort of bought ones um, and here are the sweet peas which um, I'm going to um, plant out quite soon and possibly start that later today. <laughs> 